Next up, we're going to be doing some Impoppable with No Monkey Knowledge over here on 1, 2, 3. So we're going to head there with Quincy as our hero. I'm going to place Quincy down over here. Left until red. Up. Left. Right there. Press play because this level is a little bit long running. And on Impoppable, it's a little bit of a challenge because we have to build some income generating stuff. But Quincy here is going to enable us to save up for our Dart Monkey, which is going to go down and then to the left over here. Get that nice attack speed buff. Left until red. Down. Looking pretty good now, right? We can place down our Monkey Buccaneer here very soon gonna go in this discount area right here left until red up left right there up make sure you get up and to the left here so that you can fit the monkey sub we're gonna build later down here on the right you can't fit two monkey buccaneers but you can fit a monkey buccaneer and a monkey sub So we have this longer range online. We're gonna come over here and place down our druid in the popping area. Left until red, down, left. Yes. And what this does is it gives us extra popping power. So we're going to take advantage of that by building a druid of the jungle. I just like this extra longer range here so that the monkey buccaneer can see through this tree line a little bit better. Although impoppable on this level with no monkey knowledge is a little bit challenging. I think it was play tested with a free dark monkey over here instead of it being a 240 dark monkey. It really impacts things pretty heavily here. Getting closer to the druid of the jungle. 1140 is what we need there. spamming that upgrade. Make sure you do that so that you don't accidentally leak. Grab the hard thorns while you're here. Come back over here and get the merchant man online. This is going to be really nice for us as it's just going to generate income each round. of the jungle doing very nice work there and the reason we're building this merchant man down here is because we see we got that discount bonus going so it's very nice for us to get those 200 around we can also take advantage of this discount over here in just a minute we're going to place down our moab mauler up until red to the right until red up set this to strong go. Now we have this for round 40. And come over here and place down our monkey sub. Down until red, to the right until red. Right there. Longer range, advanced intel so that we get some extra camo detection for Quincy. Because Quincy's doing most of the work there for our camo rounds. Getting the airburst starts here as well as the triple guns. Also discounted. And we're going to get the armor piercing darts for the non impoppable price here very soon. But we don't need it for round 40. We have the damage with the Moab Mauler and then we have a lot of cleanup power there. So we're going to come back over here and place down a Monkey Buccaneer. We're going to go down and then to the right over here, down and then to the right, right there. Going for this Merchant Man upgrade as soon as we can. Grabbing it here on round 39 if you can. Get an extra round worth of income. Yes. 
And from here we have a lot of money coming in, right? We have 200 plus 200 each round. Very nice for us. We can place down our monkey village over here now. Down until red, to the left until red, and down. Right there looks great. Get the bigger radius and the jungle drums. We also place down a another bomb shooter over here. Up until red, to the right until red, right there. Upgrade this to cluster bombs. Come back over here and get the radar scanner so that everything can see camo blooms. We're also going to grab the primary training here as well. Saving up for the primary mentoring so that we can get some free upgrades on these. Min-maxing a little bit here. But this level was a little bit challenging and the build I was doing previously failed, so not going to take this level lightly. Primary mentoring online, get the bigger bombs and the heavy bombs for both of these towers here. We're also going to grab this recursive cluster. Very good tower here. We do need to get rid of this dart monkey, sad to say. We're going to place down a different dart monkey over here. Up until red, to the left until red, right here. Upgrade that to the sharpshooter with the quick shots and the very quick shots, and we can see we're able to see all the way over here now. going to also grab the crossbow master as I think it's really strong on this level especially when you build it here and it gets the double attack speed buffs we can now check back over here and we see both of these towers are generating a lot of money this tower has generated more money for us than we spent on it and we're just at about halfway through the run We could further upgrade this, but it would just complicate our build. And we want to come back over here and get this crossbow master going. Get ready to feast. One thing I didn't really know about crossbow master is that it has even more range than this crossbow sharpshooter here. So when we upgrade this, you'll see we're going to be way over here on the side of the screen, even before we get our Alchemist online. Run this down. There we go, we see that all the way over here. And because this tower is so strong in this placement, we're going to go ahead and immediately put down our alchemist. Left until red, down, left, and down. Set this to strong. But really, we just want to make sure that this is closest to the crossbow master so that it gets the priority for the buff. Waiting for the stronger stimulant now. Good. Go ahead and grab the perishing potions as well. We breezed right through round 63 and 64. We were a little light on the Moab damage, which is why we saw some stuff come back around here. But remember, this crossbow master has vision all the way over to here. So we get another third look on the track there. Very powerful placement there. Go ahead and get our monkey ace online so that we can clear this level out. Down until red, left until red, and down. Spam upgrades here until you get to the fighter plane and get the sharper darts. We're going to get the operation dart storm next. And then we're going to save up for the Sky Shredder. 
as we're playing pretty serious here, and I still think the Sky Shredder is a good finisher on any build. We're definitely going to get to the Sky Shredder a little earlier than a lot of people probably think, because we have these two towers over here, cashing in the money every round. It's just crazy. Eight point six K and seven K. So just by building these towers we've added added about fifteen K. We still have another fourth of the way to go. And we're making pretty good time. I wasn't super happy with previous builds and how early in the track we were popping stuff, but I think here. This crossbow master is making it work by having a really fast attack speed at the front of our track. Some stuff is going to get onto the track. We can't really do too much about that. It would be cool if we could plug a Churchill or something up here to do big damage to the mobs at the beginning of our track. Right now we're just making things work with a Moab Mauler and a Operation Dart Storm. Which, both of these towers, high value, but they don't scale that well and really require a lot of money to upgrade further. Like 3.5k for a Moab Assassin? That's alright, but could be better. Certainly a little slow getting to the Sky Shredder. I'm not sure if it's because of where in the build we built this, or... I feel like it's usually much closer to being online. We're still 18k away from building it. That ZOMG did not die fast enough. We could have instantly killed it with a... Pirate ship monkey though. Which is a tower that I will be trying to get into some future builds. I know I barely use that tower because it has the triggered ability, but for some of our more advanced maps I'll be more open to using abilities and runs. So here we are. Sky Shredder so close, yet so far. There we go. Our Sky Shredder is now filling our screen. And since this is now, again, the final map that we're doing for our Black Border runs, we're going to sneak in another tower that we don't usually build, and I'm not even sure how good it is. We're going to be building the Bomb Blitz. It deals much more damage and has an ability that will hopefully never trigger, because if it does, we're just not going to win. But a Bomb Blitz with a primary mentoring buff, it's got to be really good, right? So we need 19k more for that. DDTs are really easy to handle because we have the Crossbow Master and the Sky Shredder there. The Ceramics are making quite a bit of noise though. Hopefully we can take care of those with the Bomb Blitz. DDTs, no problem. In fact, I think that batch of DDTs was easier than the other one. 
Bomb Blitz online. Let's see what it does. It looks like it's doing more damage. It's a really big model. I forgot how big it was. It just covers the entire build area over there. Let's make sure we're not too careless here. We're going to place down a blue gunner over here. Up until red, to the right until red. Sorry, I bungled that placement a little bit there. We're going to go ahead and get the bigger globs, the glue splatter, and then the Moab glue here. We can see we're able to see Moabs on the other side of the track there. Is that intended? I'm not sure, but we're doing it. And then from here we can pretty much do whatever we felt like. We have an extra popping power buff here, which we could put something really cool in if we felt like. As long as it's small enough to fit on that area. A sniper monkey here with extra popping power. You can go up until red. And then to the right until red. Right there. Upgrade this to like a May Moab with faster firing and even faster firing. Or you could also put a ninja monkey there, like in this spot right here. Right there. Get that sticky bomb going. Either of which will be just fine for clearing out the level. And that's impoppable with no monkey knowledge. Our monkey star was the Sky Shredder. 850k popped. Which is very nice for us. Really like how much damage that tower is still able to do. Even though it is more expensive, it's still really strong. And we can take one last look here and why we had to build these monkey buccaneers. Added around 26k bananas to our build, which enabled us to get stuff like this ninja monkey or the sniper monkey so that we would have a more comfortable round 100. 